Did you hear about the massive change in Azure that is impacting everyone and that includes you? Well, in this video, I'm gonna reveal what that change is, when the deadline is, and what you can do about it in AVD. Since it started, all of your AVD session hosts have been installing and using the Log Analytics Monitoring Agent to capture all of its diagnostic data. And that agent will be deprecated on August 31st this year, which means all of your monitoring AVD is gonna stop working. Now, Log Analytics itself isn't going anywhere. In fact, we're still gonna use it to store all of our logs. But the agent that did all that data collection is gone bye-bye. So what can we do about it? The AVD team has made this so much easier than it seems on paper. And it's as simple as one, two, three. Step one, we need to configure the Azure Monitor to take over what Log Analytics has been doing. Let's go over here to the AVD portal. Now go to Insights, and then you wanna scroll down to the very bottom, and you'll have a link here for your version and your configuration workbook. And let's open that. Now you wanna to go to the Session Host Data Settings tab, scroll down, and then select here the Log Analytics workspace you wanna store your data in. Then you can also select the resource group where you want your new data collection rule to be stored. Now, one important thing to note, if this is an existing host pool and you already have all your monitoring data being here, I suggest you select a new Log Analytics workspace. This will keep your old data separate from your new data. And then you can look back at that old data that you were using and make sure that everything is working as you expect. And if you do run into any problems, comment below and let me know so I can pass that on to the product team. To start your migration process, click over here and create a new DCR. Then just wait for a second. Scroll down and then you can select it from this drop down here and then scroll down a little bit more. You'll have a list of all of your different session hosts. Now you just click here to deploy the association, which will attach the DCR rules to your session host VM. But by itself, this actually doesn't do anything. It's gonna be the Azure Monitor agent that talks to the DCR, sees what things need to be collected, and then grabs them from the session host. So speaking of the agent, scroll down some more. Click here to add the extension. The Azure Monitor agent is deployed by a virtual machine extension in the cloud or on your Arc VMs. So that way you don't have to do anything by hand. And this will just take a minute. Now, just below this is a section for managed identities. And that's a non-human service account that allows all the agents to do all their things. So if yours doesn't look like this, you'll have another button here to deploy a managed ID. The other critical thing that you need to do is make sure that your host pools, app groups, and workspaces are all configured to send their diagnostic settings data to the same Log Analytics workspace as your session hosts. So if you need to change them, it's really that simple. But for all of your new builds, on the Advanced tab, you'll wanna check the box to enable Diagnostic Collection, and then select your new workspace and click Save. Now with everything done, back in AVD Insights, you wanna hit the refresh at the top, and you should see that you have one entry here for all logs. But if it looks like this instead with multiple logs, then you wanna click here to configure the host pool. Now what it's actually doing is changing the host pool, app group, and workspace diagnostic settings from all of these individual logs to collect all logs. And that's gonna bring with it some new features. So back in Insights, everything here at the top global level might look the same, but there's a feature here that all of you have been asking for for a really long time. And that's why are you getting session disconnects? So click here on connection reliability. And this will take a second to load because there's actually a ton of data here. And I'm showing three out of five connections with an issue. And if you click on it, you'll get a graph of all of the data, but there's really a whole lot more here than that. Scroll down and on the left, you've got a bunch of different pivots. And that'll help you dig into where exactly the problem was. For example, if I click on this one and you could see if those issues were TCP or UDP related. So here I've got the list of the reverse connects along with the short path for public and even a turn relay. And if you scroll down, you'll have all of the connection detail data and that'll have everything from the users to which hosts were involved. And if you click on that, you can dive deeper into the connection specific details. Now, if you go all the way back to the global level, you can see another feature if you click into one of your specific pools. Now the host diagnostics and host performance tabs are collecting all that new Azure Monitor agent data. And if you scroll down here, we've got the host browser section. And I'm already getting a bunch of CPU data, 
and I can click on the drop downs here and look at different things. But I've got a new section for auto scale. And that's where you can see a lot of the savings and really see how effective auto scaling has been for you. Like what is your maximum session occupancy and how many you have turned on at maximum time along with all of their current power status. And you can see that the majority of mine are actually turned off. And you can even see here when all the different auto scale events are happening. And that'll scale up and scale down. And if you click on those, you get a little fly out here that'll tell you the specific details of why it chose to do the thing that it did. So now that you have AVD using the new monitoring agent, you don't have to worry about August anymore, but what about everything else in the cloud? But you can learn about that right over here and happy learning.